right guys, welcome to Frequency Friday. This one is gonna be quick. We are at the house again, and what we are going to do is we're gonna figure out... <laughs> I have Georgia. So we're gonna figure out where is the base in this room. Okay, so let me explain what it is that we're actually gonna do here. I have a subwoofer right there, and I have the crossover turned off. It's a powered subwoofer. I have my phone plugged into it with the RCA cables to just like an eighth inch cable. And then I have a test tone generator on my phone, okay? With that test tone generator, I'm gonna start at 20 hertz, and I'm gonna do 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and 100. I am then going to take my decibel meter, and I'm going to walk around to the different corners in this house, and I'm gonna take a reading, and I'm gonna write it on a piece of paper that I have on the wall, and that's gonna give us an idea of, throughout all this different frequency ranges, where do we have, where do we have the most bass? I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> but I think I'm onto something here, so let's give it a go. Turn it on. There's our frequency. Okay, there's our decibel meter. Okay, in this corner, 20 hertz is 82, 83, 84 over here, 85 back in this corner, 80, in this corner. All right, my frequency here, I'm gonna start moving that frequency dial up on that phone there to 30 hertz, 40 hertz, all the way up to 100 hertz, and then we will see where we're at. All right, guys, so we are done with our measurements. So we went to all the different corners of the room with the decibel meter, frequencies all the way from 20 hertz to 100 hertz. And I wanna show you some interesting things that I didn't really expect, so check this out. In this corner where the windows are, here's 20 hertz all the way up to 100 hertz. We have our decibels, 82, 93, 95, 99, 107, 103, 102, 105, 105. Now in comparison, this back corner, take a look at these numbers. 84, 96, 96, 104, 111, 111, 98, 109, 105. Base is hanging out in this corner for sure. We go into this corner that leads into the master bedroom. 80, 94, 97, 97, 105, 100, 102, 111 at 90, 112 at 100. These frequencies are getting excited back in this corner, which is interesting. I didn't see that coming. And then the last corner here, 84, 95, 100, 100, 105, 107, 109, 107, 105. So what's, what's fascinating to me is where these two windows are, not as much bass, which makes sense. You think about it, it's leaking through the windows. Over here, in this corner, it is definitely a little bit, a little bit higher than this corner. There's only the one window. This, I don't understand this corner because you've got this big giant window here, sliding glass window, and yet base is definitely the heaviest in this corner, which is really interesting. So what have we learned here? Well, we learned how to find base. So you just need a subwoofer, you need a decibel meter, you need some pieces of paper and some tape to put on the wall, write down your frequencies, do a test tone generator on your phone, unless you're Sean from Zero Fidelity that has a flip phone, so he can't do it. He'll never, he'll never know how much bass he has in this room. This is a lot of fun, but I just want to show you how to find bass in your room. This is a good way to do it. And so now, what do we do? Well, we start treating things. So this will be a little journey uh, in the room, and yeah, we'll see you guys next time. Thanks.